Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the Traders Hunt series. I am Mr. Success of your host on this Traders Journey. So today I'll be sharing with you guys some very important uh, trading opportunities that you can take off for the week. Right? Last week I called some opportunities, I think I actually called the sales opportunities on Euro USD, AUD USD, PVP USD, when, even when it, the market wasn't looking like that. and Obviously, I showed the guys what to expect and some of the, the some of my data on what and why I I was sharing these opportunities with you guys and I'm glad you could see that this opportunity is already playing out. So if you're just just watching this video, you can watch my previous video to see that all those opportunities are already playing out. So how can you profit? What is NFT going to? How is NFT going to NFT going to play out this week? Friday. So if you're watching this video uh, for the very first time, you're just watching patching through my channel and you're seeing this guy talking like he's black and it's because this guy really knows what he's doing. He knows his onions very well. So if you really want to get to make money from the market, ensure to smash that subscribe button, turn on notification, give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment because I am sure you want to stay to the end to see all the opportunities I have for you guys for this week. Right. So guys, I also a big shout out the forex master students the crypto master students and the synthetics master students these are my mentees and students i've been coaching and grooming like helping to make money from the market so if you you really want to hone your skill you really want to do better as a trader you really want to make real money in this market like myself and my guys are doing ensure ensure you see, use the link from the description section send me you can see Check the description section, you can get to see my WhatsApp contact or an email. Send me a message to join my uh, my mentorship programs or send up for my for to sign up for my mentorship programs on any of my courses from Forex Crypto Synthetics Indices, right? And also very importantly, I'll be hosting a new, I'll be taking up a new set of students on Wednesday. That is next tomorrow. This video is being shot on Monday, Monday, 2nd of September, so on the 4th, which is on the Wednesday. Of September, why right? it's this on the 4th of September, which is on the Wednesday next tomorrow. I'll be taking up a new set of students, right? So, if you really want to be, if you want to join them, you need to hurry, hurry. Use from this go to this description section, send me a message to join the uh, uh, September cohort. The last batch, I'll be taking the last batch for or by November. I'll be taking the last batch by November. So, if you want to join the September batch. That would be a smart choice. That would be a smart choice, smart thing to do. Right? So, uh, ensure to hurry, sign up, sign up, register, get the courses, get the mentorship program, get taught, right? Because all the things, all the stuff I drop for you guys here on YouTube are just fragments, right? Are just tips of the eyes, but because compared to the main deal, the main deal that has been taught in the program, in the mentorship program, right? So, guys, again, um, the market proper to the market proper what are the best opportunities for you guys this week right? what are the best pairs you should be looking at this week right how can you make money trading these pairs this week and what should you do to make money from the market this week so all this and more i'm gonna be showing you guys why the way again smash that subscribe button turn on notification give me a thumbs up and leave this video a like because i'm sure by the end of this video again you want to say you want to say to the end you see all the opportunities that are that there for you in the market. So this is the XY. You know, I like I like the XY because it's more like the indicator I use to measure what USD based PS are gonna do. Right? I use that more like an indicator to measure how USD based PS are gonna behave. So this was uh, the XY. I told you guys last week that since this area, anytime we come to this supports, it's always a bounce. We got a first time, we got a bounce, we got a bounce, we got a bounce, we got a again bounce, we got a again bounce. Now we are there again. What should you expect? A bounce, right? So the thing is in trading, we, we always flow with history, historical events, right? If price would always bounce off from a level, we will always take it until proven otherwise, right? So when we were here last, I told the guys prepare for the bounce, and indeed the bounce happened, right? Price is already bounced off from this area, this support level. And that this means in the coming weeks, now I dare to say from now to the end of 2024, we're gonna be seeing uh be the XY bullish. You're gonna be having a bullish the XY. You're hearing this first time on this channel, right? You're gonna be having a DX a bullish the XY, which means overall the general structure of the market across the Euro USD, GBUSD, 
if the USC is gonna be a sell, it's gonna be bearish. These guys are gonna be dropping down, All right? These guys are gonna be dropping specifically on um on coin CPS, right? This does not go for equities or for cryptos, right? Because I love a phenomenal the fundamentals differ. I must say that clearly. The difference between forex, sorry, I'm debating it, but let me just share this so you know. The difference, what, what do, the difference between forex and crypto is in the fundamentals that really, although they, are, they share similar to an extent, they share some uh, of uh, similar fundamental data, right? They share some similar, but there are unique uh, data that trigger the overall flow of uh, the, the crypto space and even the stock space. So I don't want to. I don't want to give you all that. Now, these are unique informations for those who are taking up this program. So, I get to open their eyes to the uniqueness of each of these markets and why this market behaves the way it behaves. Right? So, this again, why is, this is again one of the reasons why you need to sign up for the mentorship program so you know what to do by time and how to respond to the market by time and how to make some money by time right? and how to make some money by time. So, right? by time, English, 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 by time. I don't mind my English, right? So guys, so let's jump or we'll, we'll jump on to this dude. So this is the XY. We're looking at the XY bounce off from this area. Again, we had a double top. I, I call this, I know, I call this flow this fall for a long. I've been calling this fall since. So now we are here. We are, we are, we are where I want to see the market. So since I've not really been active in the market, I've not really been trading. I just since I've been asking me, so, so this is why we've not been showing your charts. Let me show. You know, you know why? Because I've been waiting for this, and this has happened. But clearly, price is. Beginning to right, go on the move, another go and go on another move, right? Go on the move, price clearly on the move at the moment. Uh, let me just plot something to see something clearly right, because I know a lot of some of you are very cautious, like I am, so we want to be sure that all, all the data align. So, although overall you can say this is still a down to you on the support, so definitely you're gonna blow to the upside, definitely from the daily time frame. I'm measuring this trend and definitely okay. This is gonna blow up to the upside. Definitely, this is gonna blow up to the upside. So this is the movie has been gradual forming higher highs from the. So this is, this was like a double top from the forward time frame. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. So you see them play, 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 play. Don't they move the go? Right? Don't they move the go? I can't they fly. Let me use speaking for you because this English service is tiring me. Let me use another Nigerian English. Right, so market they move they go as they see up so <laughs> so some my uh, so my white uh, audience so, so, not, so not, not, I don't I don't know if you guys don't find it offensive when I use the word white but some of you foreign audience some rather use the word some of you are not Nigerians so I, right some of you are not Nigerians uh, you kind of find it funny when we speak pigeon because that is how more that term why right? that is the English we appreciate here in Nigeria pigeon so if you know how we speak pigeon I watch my channel huh. Eh? I could put I could put down for your body what to to I could put down for your body what to to <laughs> don't mind me guys so let's come to the X Y okay I'm still talking about the X Y right so the X Y is going to be bullish going forward right for the, for the next couple of weeks we're going to be having a bullish X Y why for JPY baskets for you can see clearly the market is showing you those signs of dropping right it's the signs are there the market is caught I was expecting that price to go up to the grabs on liquidity at the top but it's looking, it's looking like okay, we are going, we're, we're going to be dropping down already. Like, looking like there's a collapse already, which means JPY baskets are going to be bullish. JPYPS, sorry, are going to be bullish. Why JPY basket drops? Why right, JPY basket drops? JPY, JPY PS are expected to be bullish. Today is just Monday, right? So let's see. I think, I think this phenomenon will play out. JPY basket are going to be bullish. So let's see Euro USD, Euro USD. Okay, guys, you can see Euro USD. This is Euro USD, and uh, from the weekly time frame precisely, this is the first trading week of you know, September. So we need, we need to be a little, a little more thorough. We need to be a little more thorough on our analysis. So this is Euro USD. From the monthly time frame, you can see that it will, it's been a crazy range, guys. It's not, a, it's not been easy surviving the market. I must say this. This past months, this past for the past two years now. Right, this uh, since last year, since January last year that we entered it, that's not been easy to find the market. So look at all the crazy craziness of Euro USD, for instance. Right, that's not been the best. The market has not been the best of forms for traders. This this singular event range has destroyed a lot of traders' morale, has destroyed a lot of accounts, has made some traders, some good traders, leave the game on time prematurely. 
right? I made a lot of traders quit trading. Why? Right? Why? Because this guy has not been in the best of forms, right? This guy, you know, you, uh, you uh, market generally has not been in the best of form because of the ranges, right? So, um, uh, if not, one, one common phenomenon is that when time you get this resistance, there's always a bounce. Time we get this resistance, so market has always been on this range, right? I haven't dropped significantly. We got here, and our price has been stalling around here. So, uh. Although there are some, uh, some shall I use the word hypothesis? Some, some shall I use the word hypothesis now? Some, some experts are projecting that uh, Euro US will want to come and test this resist this trend line before it drops. But personally, I don't see that happening. I think I just feel that this guy is going to continue playing the range, right? It's still going to continue playing the range. The month is just starting, so this is the first uh, candle for the month. Of September first candle of the week is September first candle of the day in September. This singular candle you are seeing here, right? So it's a it's, so it, uh, with the well, hopefully the coming weeks will unfold the true nature of this candle. But for now, it's still looking like okay, it's not clear what my god intends to do whether we're going to continue bullish or we're going to drop down from here. But I feel and I think. Uh, based on previous because I like to go, go go on based on previous data we have for every time price get to this resistance it drops for every time it gets to this resistance it drops now we are here a drop is imminent so we now we are here again a drop is very much imminent I don't care what the market is looking like right now I feel a drop is imminent right a drop is very much imminent so this is Euro USD uh Right, so you can see that it has been dropping and that uh, we have this around this resistance and definitely I feel it's still gonna drop down. Right, except Michael wants to give do or uh, some want to do a little Joro. I'm going to form like a double top and but I feel the market China is gonna drop. China is gonna drop. It sets it's, it's so set to drop, right? This market is so set to drop. Right, I am not calling this sell, right? This market is so set to drop, so it's already dropping already as you can see. But there's not been the best of structure. You know, that's not given the best of forms, right? Based on structure, based on entry structures, there's not been the best of forms, but definitely it's, it's dropping already, right? It's already dropping. I sent you GU. I sent you GPUSD. <clears throat> this guy's already on the drop, on the drop motion. That you from the monthly time for next something. All right, guys, let's see something from here. Let's see something from here. Uh, well, this might be uh, okay, okay, okay. Although this is looking like something very crazy, really crazy, like something really crazy, but. Sorry guys, I'm a little distracted. I'm trying to sort of things around here, right? This is a little crazy around here. Uh, because uh you, you is looking as though okay, this was a chase was a trend. Um, yeah, yeah. And I'm looking like we've broken out of the trend, but if we were to if I to play, play this here, for instance, definitely we will still be somewhere out, somewhat somewhere within more like a break of the trend line and uh Price wants to continue going up, but this is a resistance area as a rejection into rejection. So it's not exactly clear with you yet. It's not exactly clear with you. My market is not the, the, the form market form right now. It's not exactly clear with you. But overall, I would I just want to say this clearly to you that even no matter how G looks right now, it's still going to play out the way Euro US is going to do. So whatever Euro US it does. You, you and AUDUS will generally adjust to flow and play along. That's the truth, right? I'm still gonna generally, no matter how they look, no matter how they are, currently, you and AUDUS are in the, even this, when you talk about parts and structure, they are, they currently have the worst structure to deal with right now in the market, right? They actually have the worst structure you, you have to deal with in the market. But, have this in mind that, uh, 
your map should be euro usd so whenever euro usd is playing out any kind of so uh, server uh is play euro usd is playing out they are also going to replicate the same play irrespective of their form and how they look right they are still going to replicate the same play so you know usd is selling these guys are also going to sell right but they may not be they, they may not look like they may not look as good as they should but they will generally generally respond accordingly right they will generally respond accordingly so this is already going uh giving us higher and uh, lower high, lower highs lower lows lower highs lower low lower high lower low from power so another lower is another lower high another lower low is about to perform so this might be a gradual thing but it's over time it's going to manifest in full force it's going to drop in full force right so that's on gu right starts out on gu so definitely i'm still looking watching out to short this guy on to short gu while well, adusd definitely is looking like okay fine it's just there right now this adusd uh let me go to the weekly time frame so we see something clearly around it uh weekly time frame on so this is adusd overall it's that it has been bearish right it has been bearish overall it has been bearish now taking a good look at this from here you see that okay though yes we have a very good uh uh, uh we are I'm coming let me show i need to show you guys something but i don't know why my mouse my screen is looking as well it's too small uh -huh. this is what i'm going to show you guys so this is adus is strongly bearish strongly bearish in falling 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 until we got here and it's if you look at the from the money time frame um the structure is not it's not it's not structured in at all the structure is not structured in at all but one thing one very important is that for every time price touches this trend line it drops it touches it here it drops now we are going there now to touch the trend line right so i want to say what i just want to say is that allow gu to mature adu sorry adu is it to mature a little bit it's still gonna drop this one all the foggy a bit of uh, mad madness around them actually people tend to short or buy around here it has been the worst <laughs> this, this structure here is crazy it's the worst i've seen in years right so uh so what you want to do is you want to wait for it to actually come maybe that's some liquidity you want to grab let it grab that liquidity first let it go ahead and grab liquidate people who are already entering we are trying to short it prematurely then hopefully from tomorrow also we might see some big move to the upside that you go to go and grab it before it starts dropping so i think it's going to sell nfe is going to make it drop hard but that dropping hard might not be something so easy to see to excuse to see so when this when this is a range so any entry right now is premature any entry right now around AD, any sell entry on AD USD is premature it's actually premature so you want to wait for it to actually pass i want to see it extend to touch this trend line to play around this cream level and this trend line. let's go let's go and kiss those areas right let's just go and hit them kiss them play them. then i can be confident to short AUD USD right I'll be, I'll be, then afterwards I, I will be confident to short AD USD to the downside you know for this line so you can have a more this is what i want to see so we have a more serious structure this was a key so this level um since then price has been driving hard and price has been driving hard since then it's around here so this is the structure of adusd it doesn't look fine doesn't look nice so that's and but then the next couple of weeks and months there's going to be some massive drop on adusd but then i want to wait for it to go play around this area let it go and mess around the affairs let it mess around the crap because before any drop will happen that's what i'm this is what i want to see on adusd all right so i don't i'm not i'm not rushing it i'm gonna I, I, I want to be patient and take it and also take it easy with it so why this other guy in New Zealand USD? You know this guy. You know this dude. You know this dude, guys. You know this dude. Right. Uh, we are currently. Uh, I've done this guy several times for you guys, and uh, see the same thing. Trust me, not to eat USD. It's over generally bearish, but uh, more like we've broken out of this trend. Sorry. More like we've broken out of this trend, but price seems to want to drop down because of we are still playing around. This is like a double top. 
to a toggle bottom. This is like the neckline pricing to be struggling around this neckline, so it might draw back down. So the thing is, it all, it all depends on how the XY and Euro USC play out. So these guys, their job is simple: replicates what is being done from those two, right? So replicates, does copy and plug and play. That's what they do. So this guy is looking from this shape, this form, is showing you that this guy is ready to bam bam, it's ready to drop. And this structure is showing you that it's ready, to, it's ready for some dropping business. So it wants to drop. And it wants to go down. It wants to go down. All right, that New Zealand USD wants to go down. It's, it's really, really, really wants to. It's so eager to go down. But we need to give it. It needs to have some good triggers to come up. Some triggers need to come up to make it really go down like it should like it wants to All right so i think the momentum will be very strong the down momentum will be very strong so this is a good call to short news and usd but i don't know maybe there might be some news around that might come up later around the around this currency on new zealand usd on new zealand i mean on the new zealand uh, currency but this one again you need to get this book my on price and news analysis my books on price and news analysis to help you know how to really analyze news events what to expect from each news event, how to position greatly for to take up to take up uh, the big opportunities that come with this news event, right? So the book price and news analysis is, is very important. It's very 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 important. So I think I'm gonna the one other thing with, with all this going on uh, this this one pair I'm on currently I took a buy on news on on USD card. I mean. I just took I just took the beats on it because uh although it's it's I'm roughly roughly prof on roughly running on profits just roughly I don't know why I'm using the word roughly but let's see how this plays out let's see how this plays out if it ever breaks let me just mark this trend let me just leave this trend here the first my students to know why I'm leaving this trend line here so if anything happens I know that okay hey 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 I know that hey 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 I'm not gonna take it easy on my haters. Hey, 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 hey. All right, so I'll just keep watching this. I'm currently not buying this guy already and on some good profit bots. I think I just save this trend line for those of you who, who the first master student, the forex master students understand that this trend line is like a save margin and plot. I've just plotted. So if, if you don't understand, don't understand. It's for me, for, it's for me and my guys, me and the guys there. All right? This one need to be a part of an interesting family like the forest master like the forest master community right so this is uh okay let me just say this for the longest of times i've been waiting to long uh this guy what's the name news usd jpy actually jpy ps generally i've been shouting it since i've been waiting for to long them right but those that i've been expecting this guy to come back here and play around there before i take it up but it seems to be playing shy it seems, it seems to be shy away from me so and so far i have not trusted this move yet i don't see that we need to come here to this base we need to come, we need to come and take this take out this base properly right i don't think we, i don't feel we need to come and take up this base properly oh best is safe this base is even a lot more let me show, let me let me clone this guy Actually, this base is even a lot more for me. So this green base is a lot more important for me. So this other base here is actually a lot more important for me. And I would like to see it maybe either here or here. So but it just went shy. Came with this, it went shy. So it does not mean it's not a trusted move for me. Or, Right, this is not a trusted move. This flow is not trusted at all. This this flow is not trusted. That's why I've just I've been quiet a little bit around JPYPS. I'm not really taking it. I'm here to take my buy. This one, that's why what is looking like right now. I'm yet to make any any good move on it. I need to make any serious move around it so i want to see it actually actually around here this is the level i'm more comfortable with because it looks more relaxing to take it up from here but here it's just just there but it's not even come come and test it so i've just i rather wait and watch it's better to miss than to be wrong right it's better to, it's better to miss 
than to be wrong, than to, than to go against your plan, your strategy, than to go against your trading plan. At least that is a come here or come here for us to now be convinced about the move. Same thing with JPU, JBJPY, right? It, it just came long test and all short of that. So this is not. I do understand that JPY pairs can be like this. You can move, can you can also continue going like that. You can be like I mean, they can be that they can be that crazy. Just use one week to carry the liquidity and bounce back up immediately. But I don't like that kind of trade setups. It, it looks as though you are, you are being you are trying to chase the you are, you are trying to you are chasing the market. I don't like looking like that. Right? Looking like you are trying to look, look at this move for instance. Right? It's not really cool. That's I prefer to see it come down again. So all these moves are not that's I'm not I'm not taking I've done anything on JPYPS. I'm just still watching. I'm just still watching JPYPS, right? I'm not such a bit watching because I, it might just enter. I think you're making money for the one news event that just come out. Pull, take you out of market. See my market bit so straight in this area. So I'm just being careful on my end and also just watching how things unfold in the market generally. So this is gold. When I go just like other PS is also looking like it's something that it wants to drop. Let's, let's click and go from the weekly time frame. Right, so there's nothing so clear about gold right now. Nothing so nothing much to see on gold. Other than the fact that gold has been bullish for the since for the past in the past months. Gold has just been bullish, just been minding its business, making money, making being bullish and pumping for holders. So, those who are who are holding and investing in gold have just been making money. Have just been bullish, gold has just been bullish. Right. So currently, well, is, is there anything interesting to say about gold? Not, 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 nothing interesting right now because we are seeing gold is just on the range at the moment, right? Gold is just gold is just on crazy range. I'm looking at it from here. It looks as okay. Gold is looking at something that wants to continue going down, wants to sell, right? But it is not exactly clear yet. This is not. This is not. This is not. This is not. Uh. Uh. This is not exactly pure a uh, short signal to take so so i won't tell you to, i won't tell you to show it yet and i would also at least i would only say you watch it you watch and see what gold is doing so i think gold might just drop down maybe to this trend line before it bounces back up or my break it and can continue bleeding down so I'll just begin at gold actually. Let me just put, leave this trend line as a mark in case gold because gold has a way of reflecting unknown areas on unknown, unknown levels. It does come as breast. I'd be asking yourself, why is gold expecting this level? So gold does it's one it's one thing that can have its own mind sometimes, it can just be crazy. Keep you wondering. So let me just map out, map out, map, let's just map, catch it around this range. So this is just the range where gold is. So uh so you can see why gold is not exactly in the best pair right now to look at, right? So until there's a clear until there's a clearance away from this this area before we start considering anything on gold, right? Before we start considering anything on gold. So the last is BTC. Why BTC? Why so uh, with BTC? What is going on? What is the market saying? I've seen I've seen a lot of remarks on, on BTC on some different persons' channels, right? I said, actually, I'm in a bearish market. I'm seeing this market is people of gold, ladies and gentlemen. Right, we are still in the bullish season. Right, it's just crazy. A lot of stalling is going on. That's because a lot of a lot of uh, 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 a lot of uh, on the word on chain activities going on. A lot of activities going on in the background, really, 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 really. Uh, uh, these are um, intended by some of these big players to instigate fear for you guys to go and sell so that you guys can be the losing end. Right? Like, even the Bible says something that they that endure to the end shall be saved. Right? So, if you want to make money in, this, in the crypto space, one of the things you must understand is patience. Especially when you're conversant with the season. It's just like when, 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 it's just like when you know that, okay, uh, I put it in a, you're in a bus, right? And the, you know that uh, you're in a bus going to a destination. You are clear about the destination you are going to. Your driver is clear about the destination you are going to, right? 
That's why the bombs and all this you are short, and there's and, and you know that the car you're going you're moving with this vehicle not cannot be damaged, cannot be cannot. So the only thing is there be oh, there might be a little obstacle, some obstacles that might delay you, that might try to bomb on your bomb bomb on you and all that. But this car is on un, undamageable. Is, 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 is anyone like that? Undamageable. I think it, I, I don't. I, I, maybe you can check your dictionary. If it's wrong, that's wrong. I'm not an English teacher. Right? But just when you know that this guy cannot be damaged, but it's just moving. That's why the obstacles and all that is going to until get to its destination before it stops. But that's how the crypto market is right now, right? The 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 the, the, the vehicle owner is the fact that we are riding on the bullish season, right? So this follow these bombs and all that, all these bombs we are seeing here, it should not deter you from the fact that we are in a bullish season and market is going to split to the upside so the only reason why you should be a little you should, the only time you might you might want to think to a little twice about maybe the market what the market is doing and all that is if market is able to break out of this area this is this range this, this green level this green um uh, area marked here until it clears until price breaks out of it and then that's when you can start punishing your panic if your that's when you should start panicking but for now Nothing. Market is still very much on on, on an audacious uh, level, right? On an audacious level. I think I, I think I write about this on my social media, and it's just just to keep the spirit of a lot of traders high. I keep the spirits high, keep the morale high because I think a lot of traders are already losing confidence on the on the season and all that. All this, I think the, uh, the U.S. elections, the outcome of the U.S. elections, to pave way for some of the big moves we want to see in the market. So. If those who are investing now, those who are buying, positioning now, those who have my bull on spreadsheets and are accumulating to coins and telling them to buy, these are the persons that will smile the largest. These are the people that will smile the biggest. If you want to make money, if you want to make money, you really want to make money, position now. Take advantage of this FOMO, this fear, that people's fears, people's doubts, and position. And you use it to position yourself. For some of the explosive opportunities that are coming up in the coming months, right? Especially in the first quarter of next year. To be wide, to be ex so a lot of people will regret why they are not positioning right now. A lot of people are gonna be regretting why they are not positioning, why they're not doing it, why they're not taking it, taking that, that opportunity to post, to buy the right coins right now. So stop playing. I know memes are making a lot of waves right now, but be careful how you play around the meme or the Dejin region. I want to stress about that right now. I'll be sharing more of this information with my community, my crypto community later, right? But then, again, that brings me to the end of this video. Again, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please ensure the thumb on notification. Give this video a thumbs up, give me a like, share, 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 me, share me your comments, right? and I'll be so glad to respond to you on the comment section. Again, the outlook is to look at how to buy, how to sell AUUSD, EURUSD, and GPUSD, but don't be in a hurry to do what about that week. I'm sorry. Last week, I told you guys, wait. This week, I'm also telling you, Wait a little bit. If possible, we can wait till after NFP. So I can so that you can be clear. But I think NFP NFP will help you see clearly that okay, well, we are ready to sell. <laughs> right? But if you if you are, if you are not uh, if you want to jump in maybe from tomorrow, fine. Hop on the sales, but lock in your positions and watch how the market plays out going forward, right? Again on the uh, YPS, we are still I'm still watching Ali. I'm not I'm not going for, I'm not giving you a go green light. There's no green lights yet. So don't be in a hurry to take it up, but you might fly from there. It's better we miss the opportunity than to jump in prematurely again, right? So that's just my word for you guys today. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys next week. Hopefully, we'll be seeing a, we'll be seeing a more uh, profitable setup, some plus some profitable, some more profitable setups to be calling you guys in to ride with us. So see you guys next week.